Hey angels. Um, I hope everybody's been doing well. Um, today we're gonna be discussing some things that's on my mind. Um we're gonna be talking about fake so called friends. I mean, like, I'm just confused with the word friend these days. Because people will call people their friends. Yet it's funny to me that that same person will be with another friend gossiping and talking about that other person that they called a friend I mean I don't know about anyone else but that's not a friend to me and I I don't know I I feel like people don't really know the definition of that word and it's used so lightly like I don't know that's why as for me like I'm not just gonna call anybody a friend and say just anybody's my friend like I have to be able to trust you and trust to me is a big word I mean, a lot of times, I mean, I may not talk much, but when I'm around people, I observe. And when I observe, my ways of observing is not always looking at you. Like, I do it the sneaky way. I can be sitting down watching TV, and my ears are like busted open I'm listening to you but it appears to you that I'm sitting down watching TV I'm listening and I'm also looking at you it can appear to you that I'm actually watching TV but I'm I'm watching you I'm tuned in to what you're saying around me so that um, that's another reason why um people tend to mistake you know things and get the wrong idea about me because they think that I'm not as tuned in because I'm pretending not to be tuned in because I'm trying to fill you out and you know that's how I've gotten a lot of people before you know people in the past who seem so nice to me and you know are trying to talk to me or be my buddy my friend whatever I scope them out first like you can't just say you're my friend and think that's it that I'm gonna feel like you're my friend or you have um, good intentions by me I have to scope you out first and when you're around other people, when you're around other females, women, you tend to sometimes talk about the next person that you claim to be friends with, but that doesn't fly with me. That's not a friend. But anyways, I guarantee you that if you're up to no good and you say you're my friend or you say you're my buddy or you're trying to be nice to me, I guarantee you that nine times out of ten, I'm going to fill you out. Okay, so there's no faking with me, really. Like, you can't fake with me. I'm a very smart person. Very, very smart. 
I can play dumb sometimes. Because, you know, when you play dumb, you get to um, figure things out more and people do more around you because they think that you're crazy and you're dumb. But don't get twisted. I'm a very, very smart person. And my mom taught me so well. My mama was a very strong woman and smart. So people can't really fake around me. Because if you say that you have good intentions and you pretend to be a nice person in my face, you better better believe that I'm watching you. I'm scoping you out and I'm figuring out if it's real because there's so much fake in the world that I don't want to be around fake people I don't want to have fake friends like it's not that important to me you know it's not that important to me to have friends you know if they're fake I'd rather have no friends than to have fake friends I'd rather have no nothing than to have a fake anything around me like I can't stand fakeness if you say you're somebody's friend just be their friend Look out for that person. Be nice to that person. Don't talk behind their back. Because that's not what friends mean. If you say that you are going to be in a relationship with somebody, in a committed relationship, be good to that person. Love that person. Show them affection. Show them attention. Don't talk about them behind their back. Don't cheat on them. Don't abuse them. Because that's not love and that's not a relationship. Plain and simple. I don't like fakeness. And um, I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life than to be surrounded with fake people. And that's just that, you know, some people feel like they'd rather have a friend or a lover just to say that they have one. Well, that's not me. Like, I'd rather be alone, like, if you're going to be fake with me, because I'm not going to be fake with people. If I have good intentions towards somebody... And if I say that I'm their friend, then I'm going to be a true friend. There's no need for me to be fake. You know, I'm not going to go behind that person back and talk about them. If I was talking to somebody else about a person, then obviously that person is not my friend. So, I mean... I really don't do the gossip in any way, but if I was having a conversation about somebody to somebody else and I was saying some not so lovely stuff about the person, that means that's not my friend. Because if that person was my friend, then I wouldn't be saying not so lovely things about them to somebody else. That would be fake. Now, if I'm talking to somebody about bad qualities about the next person understand that is not my friend that's just somebody that I know and I'm in a conversation with somebody else talking about them talking about their bad qualities and this and that and and what I see about that person that's not my friend so you know I just I just can't be fake. If I have a friend, if I had a friend, I can't 
talk bad about them behind their back to nobody. If I have a problem with them, I'm going to discuss it with them. I'm not going to pretend to be nice in their face and talk and bad about them behind their back. So, get this straight. If you ever heard me talking about you, if you ever walk up on me talking about you and the things that I was saying wasn't so nice, then that means you are not my friend. Do you understand that? That means you're not my friend. Because if you were my friend, I have nothing to say about you. Even if I'm angry or mad about you, I'm not going to talk bad about you. I might have a discussion with another friend about you, but it won't be anything like to put you down or anything like that. So, I don't get friendship these days because many people say that somebody's their friend and that's exactly what they do they talk about them bad they talk about them poorly and it doesn't make any sense how is that your friend how do you pretend to have good intentions with somebody in front of their face and as soon as you get behind their back you have bad intentions when you get around the next person like you act so different like you just wasn't, you know, hanging out with that other person the other day. And then you may act like you don't even know that person. I don't understand that. But that's how um, most people do it these days. But I'm not a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that. Like, I want real friendship. And if I can't have that... I want nothing. I want a real relationship. If I can't have that, I want nothing. Like, I'm strong enough to be by myself. I'm strong enough to stand my own grounds. I'm strong enough to be my own best friend. And if somebody wasn't treating me right, I'm strong enough to be on my own. So, I just don't deal with certain things like that. And um, I don't understand it. But it's very hard to find a real friend these days. A real friend. And a real relationship. So, it, if you have it, hold on to it. Be thankful. And um, just be a good friend back. And be a good lover back if you're in a relationship, a good relationship. But if you're not, then, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say because as for me, I'm not going to be in something bad and something that's causing me um, a lot of heartache. Friendship or relationship, neither. I'm not going to be in that, you know, I'm just a strong person and I'm very glad that I was taught by a very strong woman. I'm thankful for that and I count my blessings every day that she taught me how to stand on my own if I had to. I mean I don't want to stand on my own. It's not that I want to stand on my own. I want people in my corner but they have to be the right people. They just have to be the right people. No if ands, and buts. Not going to settle for less. I'm not going to settle for a fake friendship or a fake relationship. I'm just not. I have to be treated right. And then in return, I'm going to treat them right. And that's just that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, this confession video about fake relationships, friends, and whatnot. And um, comment and tell me what you think about this situation. 
And um, I mean, like, are you the type of person that can stand on your own if you have to? If someone is treating you poorly, bad, gossiping behind your back, are you able to stand on your own if you have to? Or do you feel like you just have to still be there? How do you feel about it? I hope all of you guys um, are strong enough to um, know when someone is not treating you right. And um, just strong enough to stand on your own if you have to. Nobody wants to be on their own, but you need to be strong enough to stand on your own if it comes to standing on your own. So um, just comment and let me know how you feel about this. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, give my videos a, a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. Thank you, angels. Bye.